All right, guys, what's going on? Overkill999 here back with another Jurassic World Alive video. And sorry, but right now, this is a voice over because somehow the audio got corrupted. So basically, we're just going to hop into celebrate the dinosaur day strike. We're going to choose Tenoctor Rex, Magna, Trico, and I think. Aerodominus. And then then follow defeat three creatures. Alright, so who do we got? So not too much of Rex. Super Max. Go for destruction tux, punch on it. Bam, dead. Irritator. We go for different showering rampage. Kill it instead. He does raise the crush. Just to try and get an attack left that. That serves no use. Woo woo uh Soros thingy. We'll just go for the only attack which we can, which is Brazilian Strike, he goes for Velo, he becomes slower. But then we decelerate him with Brazilian Strike. Giving us the speed advantage. And then you just go for the rampage knockout. And then, yeah, that's basically how we are going to take on this tower. Fix that. Alright, and then let's go ahead and collect our incubators. Alright, so, what do you get? Coin, darts, or raptor. Source and the draw the greatest. Alright, another giant third day strike. Which basically could stop for Magda. Alright, who do we bring out? Magna first. Versus Nazuto. Distract the impact. Good. Want to decelerate and strike, but there's no use since we are immune. But I was wondering why though. Why does Nazuto have that? What's it called? Produce damage attack when another creature like Mono's Stegotops has the exact same thing. It ha They both used to have distraction. Before you open this incubator, I'll have to go check that out. Because I'm quite curious. Yeah. Click on one of tops. It has distraction. Because it's base move. So why is it with that Nazuto? Why does Nazuto have that attack? Very interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead, open up our free incubator, get our all of our good stuff. Like our feed, our play, see what people etc. And we'll see what people want. Let's see, not gonna donate to not so. I'll donate Ermetherio. I'll I'm not gonna donate Irritator. Because I need it. I guess I'll donate Barry. I do need it for Rorcus Fix, but I'm currently not going for it. And then we'll donate Raptor. And then we'll go ahead and throw on our own request for Spino for the lovely Spino Constrictor. And alright, so let's go ahead and do a couple pieces on and the reason I have so much DNA is both from bottle incubators, and not only that, but an event that we may have had before or after the crew shuffle. It was a fierce thing, and I got a whole bunch of dimension on DNA during that. Kind of went for a little bit of both, if I have to be honest. Because both the Metrodon DNA and Tyrannal Officer DNA, those are both really good creatures to help improve my strike team. 
part another legendary that I'm working on right now is Karnatarkus, so that I need to level up my Woohoosaurus, is what it's called. Woohoo or were Werehoosaurus, one of the two. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing up to level 15. And we will go ahead and Good. We have enough DNA for one fuse, but one fuse is all we're going to be able to do, and get a nice 30. In luck, we like 30s. So not a 10. 20s are okay. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and dart us a Spinosaurus for Spinal Constrictor. Right. The first hit, though, is always the most important because it's the easiest one you can do. So you always want to try and get a direction on that. But anyways, while we're drawing this, go ahead, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And we get 180 DNA, which will greatly benefit Spinal Constructor. Once we get Spinal Source to level 20. But before we hop into some battles, let's actually go ahead and spin some supply drops. No, I don't want VIP. I don't know why I keep popping that up, but let's just keep spinning up some supply drops and get some good DNA. Uh, not DNA, but supply drop stuff. Your coin, your darts, possible bucks, and just. Some sanctuary resources to help with compies and dodos for Dodo Savia and Comsacolis. And here's one if you ever get tired. I'll do Pumpy as well. But anyways, now that we have that all done, I want to show you something. Alright, so, if you go to your badges, you select it, you have... If you've played the game since it's released, you will have four different options. You'll have 2021, 2020, 2019, and 2018. Those are represented by the years you've played. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into some battles. Alright, so. Next battle. Okay. I did a battle earlier. I decided to cut it out. I didn't really want it. it wasn't good. But this one, Sprinty. Alright, so basically. Alright, we will send out Magna Pirate Tater. Ooh, Cost Palace. This is actually my first time seeing this way in action. I'm actually very pretty well against Magna Pirate Tater. Oh, sure after that got some damage. Or scurry. That's pretty strong. Then group restricted or detraction or the knockout. So if you're ever going against the combat boss, make sure to have some group attacks, something that can take a lot of damage. So it doesn't die. Or not, it doesn't mean the speed decrease. So, but because we already took out two, let's go ahead and send up our raptor and go for the rampage. Ooh, really rhino. I was expecting to be monolo rhino, but I suppose the, that they may be working for a monolo rhino. But let's just not waste a destruction damage on it. That would be silly. It's going to be resilient. So. Let's go for the rampage and get a crit. So let's move over right now. Dead. And this fix is very, very fast. And nothing that we really have can counter with the fix right now. So we're gonna go for the best thing that we can do and check out to not so rex because it is part resilient. Feature. 
and we'll go for our resilient strike. But I think we may go for the destruction next. So I went resilient strike. Did not expect the deal swap. We do some damage. We don't die. And then we just go for the rampage and knock out. We just go for the rampage even though we're gonna die. But let's do this battle. It made me realize how good I suppose flat creatures can be because without group attacks, flat creatures can be very, very, very deadly. Especially if you don't have a group attack. But Thread also does have a group attack, but it's another thing quicker. But anyways, next battle. Alright, so here is a pretty solid team. Forget who I Okay. Let's not out Trachosaurus. Trachosaurus against my enemies. Who would think this is a great matchup? But Smiling and Nimmies went for a shield to celebrate, which is a good move on their part. But here, they will. They, they may go for a hole. But also, they play with that. So I want instant invincibility to try and block some of that damage that could be possibly coming in. But he decides to go for a deliberate prowl, which gets me really frustrated. And now, okay, what else could he do? I go resilient imp again. And they go for shield the celebrating thing. Wait, no, they timed out. I went for that. They timed out. So my girl is only impact. I'm trying to slow them down. But it doesn't work. What I should have done instead, though, is just go for the rampage. Just Diablo it. But eventually, Spinal Enemies might end up whittling down my Treco. Enough for a rampage and run knockout. Go for this rampage and run with a crit, and then the counter attack on the way out, and a swap into Mono Rhino. Three, seven, stunning strike, knockout. You know, I'm fine. Because we can go for our Dolosaur here, and just bully him into oblivion. But really what I'm hoping for is a crit. Because he's gonna go King Strike, because that's the most logical move to go for here. Shields would make no sense against the fierce. But we didn't get that crit, which makes which has me upset. Because now that means we have to go for the rampage to kill it. We got a shrek if we got a crit there, we could have gone for the shrek to make the knockout. Now okay, so we're one up. No, we're one to one. Smell enemies at low health. And Thorad needs it help against the Dio. Don't know why he would make this decision when Thor is a fierce. So basically the best way that we can kill it here is by going impact, going for an instant charge, getting this done, and then killing it. Because resilient strike this is increased for one turn. So by going for an instant charge, we can you know negate that. But he kills us with a Dracoceratops swap in. Well, this is good news for us. Because Dio may or may not be dead. If it is, it would be pretty close. 
but here we can go for Magma Pirate, here go for Nullifying Impact, they go for Cleansing Impact, which is to be expected. Right now, I know what he has. He has a Draco Ceratops at low HP, a or Dol yeah, he has Draco Ceratops at low HP. I'm going to Rampage here. Because I thought he would try and swap it out and deal. So, I go for Distracting Impact. Just to try and negate enough damage to where I can survive. But sadly, we die. You know, that was a really tough nice battle. But, let's get on to the next battle of the day. Honestly, I don't have track of how many battles I've done. But anyways, next battle. A Portugal lineup. You know what? I don't know if I want to send out first. I guess we'll send out Trico against Dio. It's a, it's an okay matchup here, but yeah, it's an okay matchup. Trico is usually beaten by Dio. I mean, well, it can be beaten by Dio. This all got into Draco Ceratops, which I know does not have enough attack. Take over, Draco. Looking for 95 HP left. That's a point has been ideal. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. So I, I don't know why he wanted to go cleanse there. He should have done go cleanse. So I thought I'd end the next turn. Or something else. Gonna swap in. So here. It doesn't really matter what we go for, we can kind of set up all creatures. So, we'll choose to not to. It's faster. And it can counter the most things out of everything in the game. It's resilient. It can counter resilient. It's both fierce. It can counter fierce. But that Dio is still on decent HP. We'll go for a Forest right now. Which we can go for the rampage. Get a decent chunk of damage off. Or we can go resilient ish, right? But we may as well just go rampage. Just trying to get a big all the damage off, but he goes kind of strike. He or she. Four sword uses kind of strike, but it's kind of a bad move, but we live. Can also we go for our resilient strike? Killing it. And this should swap in. Right here. They could have swapped in Dio. Gotten the counterattack to kill us. And then they would be up to one. The Dio would have already taken up a hit. We got the crit. And we kill it. Which is awesome. And that is one of the reasons why I left it onto Rex. It's a pretty good creature that can sometimes sway the tide of a battle. But my things are almost my supply drops are almost done. Which is nice. There's an Allosaurus. Might as well darn it with the Rodol Sword in to donate. I mean, all source, it's a pretty. Actually, all. Now I think about it, all source may be getting a possible hybrid. Yes, I know. Another hybrid with Indominus Rex Gen 2. I think it may be like an Indo thingy. 
But anyways, I want to talk a few guys just to show you how my Tenotorax is boosted. Because I can show it better on the field guide. So, go ahead, search in Rex, tap on Tenato. And, that's just what I, okay, so, those are all 30 stats. That I think may, wait, actually, never mind, those aren't level 30. I'm building my Tenato Rex right now. I'm stupid. But anyways, about 2 health, 1 damage, and 4 speed. I would love to boost it a bit more in the future, but for now, that's how it is. It has a decent amount of health already at level 23. Granted, it is for Hydrosaur. I don't explain why. But I want to make it have enough damage for Mortem, a Mortem Rex raid. So, anyways, my supply drum squats over, so we'll go ahead and spin these. Collect our beautiful stuff. I'm just gonna call it stuff. It's just stuff. Alright, so. We'll continue spinning these. But, anyways. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the video. That would really help out the channel. And it would let me know that you guys enjoy the content. Alright. Oh, it was Gorgonons that we donated earlier. I thought it was Raptor, but... People won't rap now. And we already have 100 final. Nice. Alright, so... We'll do... One... Two more battles, maybe? I'll see. We'll just see what time it is. I'm recording this at like 10 o'clock. I'm getting a bit tired. So we'll see. But I want to get another video out as soon as possible. This matchup, it's okay -ish for us. Let's start off with a distracting impact. Which is pretty vital. I go for a defense. Now we go for a rampage. Just trying to try and get that a bit more damage off. Um, there's a rampage and a crit. Is that 1490? Alright, so now we go. So now we'll go for a cloak here. So we can not have to worry about a counterattack and a chance to dodge. Which we didn't. But now, the good news though is that the shield is down. And that we can get a solid speed lead. So next, I'll probably send out Alloraptor. Yeah. I'll send out Alloraptor because it's immune to speed decrease. Which is something that Stegard is, is really specializes in. Is being able to slow down its opponent. So we'll go for Alloraptor because it's born is born to do this design to destroy tanks. And that's this isn't really how I like to use Alloraptor. But I suppose in this scenario we kind of have to use Alloraptor this way. But if I had Thor, I would have used that too. Because we would have been able to use the impact. We would have been able to have done it. Alright, so now we'll send out Earl Dominic. So here, we'll go for the shock managers because why not? Could have been nice, but sadly, it feels a little speed up. Wait! We have two options here. Let's see, he has enough attack to kill Draco Ceratops. We'll send out Draco Ceratops. 
so and then we're just gonna straight up swap in the group of ceratops just for just for the knockout and there we go there's the win a three to win but a win is a win right yeah a win's a win We'll go ahead and collect our Dooley Battle Incubator, which was the main point of today's video. Alright, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye, guys.